What's up, you guys? What up, what up? It's your girl, AC the Mogul. I wanted to come here today. I gotta find my phone. I wanted to come here today so that I can um, give you guys an update on music production. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, what's been, did you graduate? What did you think about it? You don't talk about it no more. So that's what you're gonna see in this video. The pros and cons of my experience of going to school, LA film school for music production. So here we go. I got a list of stuff. So if I kind of drift off to the sides because I'm looking at some notes, but um, that's what this video is going to be about. So like, subscribe, comment, and thanks for the love and support. All right, let me go ahead and see if I can read my notes. Right. School of music production cons and pros. So first of all, did I graduate? Yes, your girl did graduate. What they say? What what? What say? She's officially a music producer. You know what I'm saying? It's like the Los Angeles Film School has my name, associate's degree in science music production. So it's official. I know I'm late. I've been graduated though. I graduated in September of 2020. I know I'm late, but listen, show me love anyway. All right. So again, let me read my notes. I'm talking about the cons and pros of attending LA Film School for music production. The pros. Just a little bit of backstory. I was a broke single mom when I heard about this program. Um, when I heard about it, I was like broke, you know what I'm saying? I was paying overpriced rent and I was working as an Uber driver. I knew I couldn't afford the studio equipment. So that's one of the reasons why I went ahead and jumped on it. I'm just keeping it all the way 100. I got tired of, um, I always had a passion for music. I've been writing since I was eight years old. You know what I'm saying? And um, been writing songs and rapping since I was eight. But I always wanted to make songs like on my own without the middleman. So I wanted to cut out. I used to have to take my son to the studio with me. I wanted to cut that out. I wanted to cut out paying for studio time, paying for them to mix it, paying for them to master it, paying for beats. That's a lot. So that's another thing. That's like the pro of this. Um, sorry for the short interlude. Yeah. So that's the first thing i have all the studio equipment i need to record and i didn't have to pay for it up front so that was like one of the biggest reasons why i jumped on this um i have financial aid so i didn't have to worry about you know how much is this gonna cost me um all that type of stuff up front you don't have to worry about that if you got financial aid i went to school for um general studies before and i still had like financial aid left over from that so that's one of the pros not having to pay money up front not having to worry about um you know where are you gonna get your studio equipment from and all that and what else the school was online so i didn't have to i didn't have to get dressed i didn't have to be bothered with traffic i didn't have to be bothered with humans in person period sometimes you don't want to leave the house so that was an another pro um it was flexible it was part-time so i still had time to be a mom and work full-time and I actually got evicted while I was in school. Okay. So last year, who was hot? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm at this truck stop and it is hot. As y'all know, I'm in my truck right now and I'm, I'm like blazing even with the air on. Um, where was I at? I got evicted. So even, even going through an eviction when I was living in Georgia, I still was, um, able to the school, like work with me. You get what I'm saying? So, Basically, like, for example, when I told the school, hey, I'm going through a financial hardship right now, um, they took they let me take like two months off. You get what I'm saying? Not tripping on me at all. So I was able to take two months off. Like if you if you're going through anything and you just need a pause, it's not going to hurt you. You just tell them they was real understanding about that. So I took I probably took like total. I think I took probably like at least three months, <clears throat> three months off because I was supposed to graduate, I think, in like May but I graduated in September. So that was another thing. Um, I moved from Georgia to New York state, still was able to be in school. I started attending trucking school while I was um, living on a truck and I was working towards my degree. While I was learning how to be a truck driver, I had all my studio equipment in here. So when my, when my trainer was driving, guess what I was back here doing? I was back here on my computer, doing my homework, doing assignments, learning music production. 
So that right there is invaluable. If you really got a passion for music, you know what I mean? You really can't go wrong if you're trying to live a different lifestyle. Like what I was doing, living on a truck, that's kind of difficult. Um, but I was able to pull it off. Uh, let's see. I make music in my truck that was priceless. I wasn't a, I wasn't graded on how good my songs was. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I wasn't graded on, oh, your song is this good or your song is is not this good. It was more so it was more so being graded on the technicalities, like learning logic, learning, um, learning uh, what was the other three? We learned logic, pro tools, Ableton. Um, I think that was it. But it's like it's like three different programs they kind of start teaching you. So um, they give you kind of like a basic entry level of each program. So it's not like you're gonna go extensively. You know what I mean? You might you might they might say, all right, make a beat in Ableton or uh, write some music like actual music. They teach you how to write music or read music like the actual notes. So they they might say they might walk you through like Logic. They'll walk you through how to make music in Logic. Um, and that's the one that I stick with the most now out of all of them because that's the one I started learning I started learning logic first. So that's the one I make my beats in that's the one I record in but I have kind of like a, Like I'll just say they teach you a basic entry level of the other two programs uh, Let's see Um Techno aspect, okay, I was still able to ask for help when I needed it um 101 instruction the teachers basically like when i needed help since it was online they were able to like screen share with me um they would like make you basically make an appointment with them they screen share with you and if you have any questions like they can see you on camera i don't know the name of the program but it's basically like one-on-one -on -one help online so they they were able to help with that um i really honestly feel like anybody can do this program like anybody can pass anybody can get this degree bro i'm 34 years old i'm a mom i'm a truck driver i i got this degree while i was learning how to be a truck driver i got evicted while i was getting this degree i moved from new york from georgia all the way to new york state and still was able to get my degree so anybody can do this um it's it's easy it's challenging because you have to be disciplined enough to do the assignments so you basically get like a break so like every class is a month so let's say copyright the copyright class is a month um learning how to write music may be a month so ableton might be a month logic etc but in that month you have each week uh you have a certain amount of sign assignments due so week one you may have like three or four assignments that you have to do in a project week two three or four assignments a project such thing etc every so by the end of the month you have these collection of weeks that you've done and that's what you're graded off of um so yeah i really feel like it was impossible for me to fail until i stopped feeling motivated like i said what i was going through my personal life at the time that's demotivating for anybody if you're struggling financially you know what i'm saying and you and you got and you got a child too so and then my life like i said learning trucking completely it's a whole life change from uber to struggling to to another state in that mist i lost my motivation for learning you know what i'm saying i'm trying to learn how to drive a truck so that was um that was when i started failing i did fail i did i fail two classes i look listen i didn't fail the classes because they were hard oh my god it was so hard no I failed the classes because like I said mentally I was doing this I was doing that I was moving here I was even when I took those times off I still even when I took that time off bro I still was mentally everywhere else so even though I failed another kind about it I mean another pro about it, excuse me another pro about it even though I failed, yo they were mad good with like um letting you retake the class okay so if you fail a class you can retake it at least one time um for free no problem they're not going to charge you you fail a class the first time something happened in your life you fail you, you didn't ask the time off they're going to let you retake the class for free i love that because then i took it and i passed it was no problem um participating let me see i had the opportunity to retake yep 
they let you take classes over and over again for free and you graduate when you're ready so i can't remember how long or how many months the program was mm, i want to say 8 16 i can't remember the months y'all don't make me lie it's just over a year though and you get to and you get an associate's degree um and like i said it took me a little long and then uh lastly one of the pros that i could think of is that when you're done <laughs> when you're done with the program like now for me what i what i'm so grateful for is that now like i said i was so focused on trucking and trying to make sure i have a place to live like my basic survival needs was met me and my son was good i had a job lined you know i was so busy with all of that stuff the beautiful thing about it now is whenever i'm ready to go back and chill out and come off this road because for y'all that don't know i'm a full-time trucker i live on my truck literally i have my clothes everything was on this truck but when i'm ready to stop living on a truck i've been living on a truck for a year and a half now when i'm ready to go locally i can go take all those classes all over again like they let you take them they let you take the whole course not just one month the whole entire course over again for free so even though I didn't soak it all up the first time, if I want to go back and act like I'm in school all over again and start over, I, I love that about it. All right, now let's get into the cons. Let's get into the cons. All right, the school was online. That's a con too. When I really desperately wanted to go get some hands-on experience because I'm not the type of person that can just, I'm not really like that technical technically savvy like there's high school kids you know what i'm saying boys i've met little boy, like high school boys you know what i'm saying that can go into logic or go into uh what everybody be using uh pro uh, um you know what i'm talking about apple pro what is it uh i just said it we took it they basically can go into a program and make a beat 10 minutes it, listen if you're that type of student if you if you already if you already recording people if you already making beats, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I wouldn't like, I don't wanna deter nobody from coming here. But I will say, if you already good at that stuff, bro, it'd be different if you just if you just trying to do it just to get the degree. If you just trying to do it just so you can get the degree, so you can say, I hang this on my wall, oh, I got a degree for music production, all right, fine. But if you already good at that stuff, and you know what I'm saying, you don't even really need this. Everything that you everything that you learning, no bash to them. But everything that you learn in here, you can learn on your own. A lot of the courses that we took was like on YouTube. I think they're private stuff on YouTube, like private. So like everybody can't see it unless you're in this school. And also um, it was YouTube we, we took videos from that we learned from weekly. And um, gee whiz, I can't, LinkedIn. LinkedIn has a, pro, a platform. So those are the two. If you can, if you can just buy a program or pay a hundred dollars for um you know some type of program to update your skills and you're already good at it i would suggest doing that if you already good at it another con so yeah the personal help that i wanted the personal instruction when i wanted to on the um in-person type of help i couldn't get that you know the best you can get is right here like i'm talking to you over the camera all right the school like any other school is expensive as bleep <laughs> I came out oh and I think about 25 grand so right now I'm in 25 grand of debt, uh, in school school debt on my credit that I have to pay off so that's another that's another con that's what I'm saying if you could if you can really get your money if you if you really could just get your own studio equipment you can afford to like I couldn't and and you can uh, pay and you're good all right let's see you don't receive your equipment right away that's another another con i didn't like that um you gotta wait a few months for it i kind of felt like i just went like i kind of did also feel like they just wanted to pass me because see we the i was one of the first students my class my year last year 2020 i think that's when la film school opened the section up for music production that's we were one, i was one of the first students my class was one of the first students at la film school for music production um and i did feel like they wanted to pass me they didn't want anyone to fail so even though i was literally not paying attention i wasn't there and all that i felt like they just wanted to push me along like all right we needed a pass you know because this is our you know their numbers will look good if everybody passed so let's see i wasn't present like i said i was going through the eviction i already told y'all that 
um, I was low key depressed. All right. When things shifted and I became a truck driver, the feelings got worse. I was doing assignments just to pass. For example, like classes was on a month to month basis. Like I told you, um, I wouldn't do no work all month. You see what I'm saying? Like the teachers, I ask you, you know, they'll, they'll try and talk to you. They'll ask you if you need help and stuff like that on the class. But I wasn't doing no work. Like if my, my work, my assignments were due weekly, I would wait to the fourth week. You know what I'm saying? And then try to hurry up and do all four weeks of assignments four times like three assignments that's like 12 assignments that i'm trying to do in the last last week or i'll wait like three three days left in a month and i'll try to hurry up and finish all my assignments so it was i don't how was that a con i mean i made it happen right how was it a con um what did i write assignments completed sorry y'all one second i was doing a minimum just to pass so i didn't learn much I didn't. That's it. I'm guilty. I said it. I didn't learn much. Yo, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to y'all, bro. Y'all subscribe to my channel. Y'all like my channel. Y'all mess with me. So I'm going to keep it all the way real. Listen, I didn't learn much, bro. I can't tell you. Listen, I can I can go on logic and I can take samples and I can move them around and make a beat. Y'all see the beats I made on my, on my channel. I can move them around and make a beat. But when it comes time to recording, like I could barely do the basics. I may know how to press the record button, move some samples around, like I said, in Logic to make a beat. I can't tell you the first step on how to mix. I can't tell you the first step on how to master. I can't tell you how to hook up my, listen, I struggle hooking up my studio equipment, bro. I'm just keeping it all the way real because you got to think I was not here. I was, my mind was learning on a highway, learning how to live on a truck. My mind was getting evicted. My mind was somewhere else. So I can't even tell you. I was waiting to the last minute just to complete assignments, just to pass, just so I can get this piece of paper. This right here, this cardboard, bro, this is, if y'all already got skills, all I'm saying is you don't need it. I'm not, I, look, I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad. I think it's a dope opportunity because without it, I wouldn't even be able to make no music right now. I would still have to be going to a studio. So, you know, I'm not going to bash them, but I'm just keeping it all the way a hundred. Um, all right, I can't tell you how to record. I can't tell you how to stop stuff from clipping. When I record, I literally don't know nothing, but I have a music production degree. So I really paid almost 30 grand for this piece of paper and a couple thousand dollars worth of music equipment. So what I got, I got a MacBook Pro, what I'm recording on right now. I got this degree and I got, you know, the basics that you need to hook up. I got a, a, a MIDI board which I already did. Listen, if y'all haven't seen my video on music production, when I first unboxed all my studio equipment, it's like from three, two, two years ago now, maybe three. Check that out. My conclusion. Conclusion. If you're someone, I think I already told y'all this. I was supposed to wait to the end and say it. <laughs> if you're someone like a lot of young people that already make a beat, y'all already know how to make beats. Y'all already know how to record people. Or y'all got an in-home studio already. You've been doing this for years since you was a teenager or you tech savvy already. Um, you can watch YouTube videos and you can make beats and figure this out. You know what I'm saying? You don't really need it. But if you were somebody like me, like, if you know, if I could go back and do it all over again, I would do it again. <laughs> I would do it again because like I said, I, now, even though it put me in debt, I have the studio equipment and I know a little bit about how to make a beat and I know about logic um, and the beautiful, the most beautiful part about it is I can take, I can, when I come off this road, I can tell them, hey, I wanna take the whole 18 month, however many months, 10, 11 month course class. I wanna take the whole music production program all over again and it's free. So that right there is invaluable. And guess what else? This ain't really nothing. A lot of people be like, you know, this is some. I can walk in the door at any job and based off this, they're going to give me a job. You know what I'm saying? Or if I want to walk in the door, and I could get an internship, any job, no matter where I'm at, Georgia or whatever. I already got internships off, off of before I even got this thing. And it was at a high end studio in, in Georgia. So that's the benefits of having the degree. Um, one of my favorite classes I think before I end this thing is um, the copyright. I like the copyright course. Um, 
it's kind of confusing so if y'all take it i would say ask a whole bunch of questions and don't just let her get away you know don't let it just let her get off the hook if y'all got questions and stuff like that i did like it and um what are my plans for the future somebody asked me that in the in the latin a comment before uh, last week where do i see myself somebody made a slick little comment and was like oh do you really think you have a, a do you really think you have a career in music i already do you know what i'm saying i'm already using it behind my videos i don't know if y'all watch my videos the music that's in the background is by me so guess what every time that music streams i'm getting paid the the music that's in my videos i already have it distributed so you can go download those songs right now on apple music itunes spotify title pandora your girls on pandora now you know what i'm saying so i'm already doing it you these days you do not have to be you don't have to wait for somebody to come down and say yo she's dope i discovered her or i discovered him you know what i'm saying now you can just do it by yourself so this was one of the things that i feel like helped me do it by myself and um my plans for the future i would really love to get my music in um like shows or movies like i would love that even if it's just little small time shows or small time movies um and also my plans for the future is really just to keep growing my channel keep growing my pandora keep keep growing like you know everybody i might not be for everybody but you know some i'm just gonna keep on growing this is not i'm gonna end with this regardless of my age regardless of how i look regardless of anything i'll just say uh this is something that i'm gonna do until i die bro like i'm gonna make music for the rest of my life i don't care when my head is full of gray hairs and I'm old and wrinkled, it's not about making it big and being Nicki Minaj or Cardi B. It's about fulfilling what you feel like is, is your purpose and what makes you happy. So I'm going to take this to the grave. Nobody can take this music stuff from me. Unless my equipment break down, guess what? I can buy more equipment and I can still make music and make beats until I'm old and about to die. So that right there is invaluable. You know, I can make a, my own studio and stuff like that. So i think i think that's all i can really say about this video and i'm sorry it did take me so long but yes your girl did graduate i did get that degree and i still can go back even though i don't know shit. excuse my language <laughs> even though i don't know you know I, I got a music production title but you know what i'm saying i don't really know much i still can go back and take those courses and who knows what i can learn you know um in the meantime so let me go ahead and answer y'all questions i'm sure oh y'all showing the chat love okay i see the chat look i just now put the chat on i was reading my um my comp my um my notes that i wrote so let me go through and read up read up the comments y'all also i guess they 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 got these new stickers that you go just so y'all know if you want to send me a sticker i think you can like pay a dollar for it and stuff like that i've never seen nobody use it yet so don't gas me but <laughs> let me see if i can answer these comments trucker john what's up everyone what's up trucker congratulations thank you what's up valerie montiel bell i'm deaf happy to thank you i know thank you my picture on instagram can you make me a theme song before you get to face? <laughs> i can work on it tell me what you want it to be about <laughs> um smart work travel melvin jr Oh, Pro Tools. Oh, Pro Tools. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So, yeah, that's it. Pro Tools, Melvin. Andrew. Oh, snap. Here we go. This is what I've been waiting for. Yeah. See? Your girl didn't forget about you. And I'm going to be late to a low right now. I'm in Florida, y'all. Um, but I, I had to do this video. I go to the same school, and basically one of the teachers said, there are no secrets. You either know or you don't. And you're right. There's so much information but not all info is good info that's a fact i'm glad that you got to the school um yeah like i said i can't I, i'm i try i'm not trying to say nothing bad about it like i said i told y'all how i feel i'm glad that i got my equipment i'm glad that i know how to make a beat and that i know how to record myself right now if i need it i'm driving down a road you know what i'm saying i got a thousand mile drive right now if i want to drive a thousand miles and make up a song on my head pull over for the night hook up my studio equipment and record it that's invaluable you know but it took me what twenty some thousand dollars to do it if y'all got the money and you already know what to buy you already ahead of the game 
What's up, Ryoma? Andrew, yes, it was me. <laughs> okay, yeah, thanks for all the questions. I'm glad I I'm glad I was able to answer your question. Who said that? Rude. I know, right? Somebody on my um on that on I think my, one of my LA film school videos, somebody was like, Oh, you think you got a career in music production? Or you think you got a career in music? I already do. I don't like you gotta speak it into existence. And also, like I said, I don't care how many views or streams it is on YouTube, my stuff is getting played every time somebody watch my video like one of my videos got twenty thousand views that's twenty thousand twenty thousand people to listen to that beat that's twenty thousand streams of a song in addition to youtube paying me too so i'm about to get up out of here if y'all ain't got no more questions i ain't gonna hold everybody you know what i'm saying thanks for showing me love and support make sure y'all like the video comment subscribe if y'all got any more questions how y'all doing in school did y'all go to la film school you know what i'm saying and uh that's it. I'm about to get up out of here. Peace out. Check out my other videos. And um, I'm out of here. Let me see. Hold on. Somebody comment. Oh, yeah. Thanks for sharing. Enjoy your day. You're welcome. All right. How do I end this? Here we go. Bye, y'all.